evidence that can be found in RAM includes processes and programs running on the system, network connections, evidence of malware intrusion, registry hives, usernames and passwords, decrypted files and keys, and evidence of activity not typically stored on the local hard disk. How to download Magnet RAM Capture First, go to the website magnetforensics.com, then click the Resources tab on the top menu bar. This will bring up a sub-menu bar. Click on the link for Free Tools on the right side. Now scroll down through the list of tools and select Magnet RAM Capture. Next, fill out the form in order to receive the free tool. How to use Magnet RAM Capture in order to use Magnet RAM Capture, you will need to operate it on the device being analyzed. Investigators often store the software on a removable drive and then run it once they are on the device. First, open the application and a small screen will pop up. Once the application is open, you will notice an option for Browse. Click this and then choose the location where you want to save the memory capture to, then click Save. Now click the Start button and the capture will begin. The time to complete this process will depend on how much memory you are capturing. Once done, the capture will save as a dump file, which will be in the location that you predetermined before the capture. Now you can analyze and view the memory contents by uploading it into your memory analysis tool of choice. For this exercise, we will be using Magnet Axiom, of which there is a free trial However, you can choose to use any memory analysis tool that you want, such as Volatility, which is available for a free download here, www.volatilityfoundation.org releases. Once uploaded, select the data that you would like to have included in the case and then begin the analysis. Once finished, you will be able to see each category of data, such as image files, metadata, email data, and much more. Depending on the tool you use, you will have a different graphical user interface, but all memory analysis tools will provide you with a similar output. From here, you can search around the application by clicking on each category to discover the files found within. As you can see in Axiom, you are given a hierarchical data structure that allows you to further examine the fine details of each file such as the location, file size, and file type. The rest of the process is generally quite straightforward. Depending on which memory analysis tool you use, you may have more or less features for filtering, searching, and analyzing the data.